Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to talk about how to treat vomiting in children. Now, everybody knows children get sick, they throw up. And how to treat that depends in part on why they're throwing up and how much they're throwing up. The good news about vomiting, if you can say that there's good news about vomiting, is that even with the most dramatic episode of vomiting, there's still something left in the stomach. That's been the key to what we call oral rehydration therapy. We know that if we can get fluid into the stomach, even if children are continuing to vomit, there's a decent chance that enough fluid will be absorbed by the body to prevent dehydration. The idea is not to fill the stomach up with a lot of fluid all at once, which we think may cause more vomiting, but to dribble fluid in a little bit at a time. Ideally, we say one teaspoon of fluid every two or three minutes. An easy way to do that is to sit on the couch with your child, perhaps watching television, and every time a commercial comes up, give them a couple of sips. People want to know, what should I give my child to drink? Well, the ideal rehydration fluid is invented by the World Health Organization, but it includes a lot of salt and a lot of sugar. Ideally, the balance has one-to-one -one molecules of salt and sugar because that's how the body absorbs water. Unfortunately, that solution doesn't taste very good, and it's not very popular with children outside of the underdeveloped world where it has been a life-saving therapy. In the developed countries, an alternative is electrolyte solutions. Brands include Pedialyte, Enfilite, and K-Electrolyte. These are sort of a watered-down World Health Organization electrolyte solution. They won't truly rehydrate a child, but they will prevent any further loss of fluids when used properly, again, with frequent small sips. In older children who are taking more solids, you can try and balance out the fluids going in with bland solids, especially those containing salt, things like soup or saltine crackers. Ideally, you don't want to give the children any solids until they've stopped vomiting for about eight hours. So stick with just clear fluids for the first eight hours of vomiting. After that, you can start advancing to fluids like soup and then on to bland solids, assuming the vomit is going away. Now, we want to be on the lookout for some things that suggest danger, signs that your child needs to be seen immediately by a physician. Vomiting up blood or stuff that looks like old coffee grounds, which is really blood that's been in the stomach for a little while, is never a good sign. So if you see that, you really want your child to see the doctor. Vomiting accompanied by frequent watery diarrhea could lead to dehydration relatively rapidly. That's another reason to have a child seen rather emergently by a physician. If your child has diarrhea that has blood or mucus in it, that could suggest a serious infection. Children who are vomiting up bile, sort of greenish yellowish fluid that comes from beyond the stomach and the intestine, may have an intestinal obstruction or very serious illness and should also be seen immediately. Children should be peeing at least every eight hours. If your child isn't peeing at least three times a day, or if they cry without making tears, or if you notice their mouth is looking dry, chances are they're getting badly dehydrated. Certainly if they seem overly sleepy, won't wake up, won't talk to you, or do what they usually do, you should be concerned and have that child seen by a doctor. Talking about treating vomiting in children, I'm Dr. David Hill.